Hello, welcome to the short tutorial on how to use AverMedia Live Gamer HD with XSplit 1.1. I will show you how to set it up and use it as a hardware encoder and video source. First of all, you need to make sure to have Live Gamer HD installed in your computer, latest Live Gamer HD drivers installed, and have XSplit 1.1 or newer installed on your PC. First, I'm going to show you how to use Live Gamer HD as a hardware encoder. To enable use of Live Gamer HD as a hardware encoder, we need to edit our channel plugin so it uses Live Gamer HD as a codec. To edit a current channel, just click on Broadcast and right click on the channel you want to edit. Or you can go to Tools, General Settings, Channels tab, and click on the channel you want to edit and then click Edit. In video encoding, the important part is to change the codec to Aver Media Hardware Encoder. In the resolution drop list, you can see all the supported resolutions that Live Gamer HD's hardware encoder supports. Leave that to the default because we're going to change it in a different place. Input the rest of the settings and press OK. After that, go to View resolution and you can see that I already have it set to 720p and 60 FPS frame rate. You need to set them both to one of the supported resolutions listed on the Aver Media product page for Live Gamer HD. After that all you need to do is click on broadcast and click on your channel. Don't worry if you chose the wrong settings. XSplit will automatically scale FPS and resolution to the closest one supported. Here I have a video that will serve us as a source and we should be live. You won't be able to use the hardware encoder and capture capabilities on a single live gamer HD at the same time in XSplit. Now I'm going to show you how you can use Live Gamer HD as a video source, like a normal capture card. All you have to do is go to Add, Add Camera, and click on Aver Media HD Capture C985 Bus 2. That will add Live Gamer HD to your scene and you can do whatever you want like if it was any other source in XSplit. If you try to go and broadcast with codec settings still set to Live Gamer HD's hardware encoder, you will get a message saying that you can do that and if you want to use the internal XSplit X264 encoder. Since we don't really have a choice, press yes and you will be able to broadcast using the normal XSplit codec. When you use XSplit's internal X264 codec, you don't need to set specific resolution and frame rate combinations because X264 works with any combination. As you can see, we're live with Live Gamer HD as a source. So, um, thanks for watching. If you want to message me, just um, do it on Twitch TV. It's uh, Twitch TV slash pipe because I don't read the YouTube stuff as much. And you can tweet me at pipejtv and ask me stuff there. So um, thanks for watching and see ya.